This code sample includes links for three JavaScript uh, libraries Backbone, underscore, Backbone use underscore, and jQuery. For some of the Backbone op operations, jQuery is required. Over here, we create a template. This template has the ID pix underscore template. The template is a very simple one. It includes label element and img element. Over here, we have two div elements with uh, different IDs. And here, we have a script element. First, we create an image view. A new view, its name is image view. Actually, image view is a, a variable, a global variable, assigned with a reference for an object that represents a new view. This is the way we create new views in Backbone. We just need to call backbone.view and then invoke the function extend, passing over an object that describes the view we want to create. Later, it would be possible to instantiate this new view. We just need to treat image view as if it was a um, constructor and instantiate as many as we want. Here, passing over to the extend method, this object, we actually configure the new view. For example, specifying the property initialize with the value which is an anonymous function. This anonymous function will be invoked whenever uh, this uh, new view is instantiated. So over here and later over here, in each one of these two lines, we instantiate image view and this function will be invoked in each one of those um, cases. The code, this dot render, actually is a call to invoke the function we assigned to the property render. And the render method is the one responsible for rendering the view whenever, uh, wherever it should be uh, created. Here we use um, the template method available in underscore library. Here we use dollar function from jQuery. Actually, this invocation returns the object from the DOM that represents this uh, element, calling the function HTML, a jQuery function on that object, we get in return a reference uh, for an object that describes uh, the content of this uh, script element. This is a template, a template that could include the placeholders that would have been replaced with the values in the object we pass over as a second argument to the template function. The template function returns back a string. This local variable is assigned with a string, the string that we want uh, to display, to, to render where the view should be displayed. Referring dollar, referring dollar $el, we actually get the reference for the object, the DOM object that the view is associated with. So we can invoke HTML function in order to set this string, the value of this variable is actually a string, to place this string uh, in that very specific uh, div where the view instance should be displayed. So if we execute this code sample, uh, this is the output. If we try to debug, Let's uh, place a breakpoint. 
let's refresh. Let's uh, take a look at the code. So, dollar is a jQuery function. Passing over this value we get in return the reference for the object that uh, represents uh, this script element, the template actually. If we check the value of this expression we can find the template itself. Let's just copy it over here and take a look at the value. As you can see the value is template itself. The returned value assigned to the variable template, let's solve here, is actually the text of that uh, template that we want to um, embed into the div element. The div element, the view, is associated with. If we check this dot dollar el, we shall actually get the reference for the div element. Its ID is pix one container. This is the div element. Uh, we want its content to be the string currently assigned to the template variable. This text. So we just invoke the HTML function we know from jQuery and it does the work.